Hello and welcome to Up to Speed, our quick new show that makes sure you're up to date with the big new announcements in the video equipment industry. So NAB is next week, and Sony have kicked off the announcements early with their new A9 mirrorless camera. We're all familiar with their A7 line. The A7S in particular has been very popular indeed for video, and the A7R has been convincing stills photographers to switch over to Sony for a while now. But there's been a few main hesitations which have been stopping people from using the A7S and the A7R, mainly the lack of dual card slots and a short battery life, both of which are fixed in the A9. In my opinion, this is going to be the main thing that gets people interested in this new A9. Sony now have a mirrorless camera that is definitely capable of holding its own in a professional environment. Definitely if you're a stills photographer. So for people whose work just can't be repeated, weddings or sports for example, those dual card slots are almost a necessity. And the longer battery, well, let's face it, every Sony user is going to be pleased to see that. It actually uses a new physically larger battery, which is over twice the capacity of the smaller ones from their A7 cameras. So this is clearly the camera that Sony are positioning at the demanding stills photographer level. It has the best autofocus system Sony has developed yet, and it can take 20 raw files a second with no blackout in the viewfinder. This means that you can hold the shutter down to fire off photographs like a machine gun, but can get an uninterrupted view of your subject in the viewfinder. It's apparently just like you're watching a video recording in that viewfinder, which is great. The camera certainly doesn't sound like a machine gun either when it's doing this though, as it has a silent vibration-free shutter. In fact, it's so silent, they even give you the option to put an artificial shutter sound back in if you want, just like a phone does when you take a picture. You know, it goes click when you take the picture. It doesn't need to. All of this is possible because of a new stacked full-frame sensor. This is the first time we've seen this on a small mirrorless camera, and it means that the camera can read the data from the sensor at much faster speeds than before. This camera really is going to be a fantastic choice for stills photographers, but this is mainly a video channel after all. So let's talk through its video features. It has a pixel for pixel 6K sensor, which will downsample to 4K with no pixel binning. This is similar to the way the A6500 works and should result in very nice 4K video. In comparison, the A7S II has a pixel for pixel 4K readout, which is why its low light is so good, and the A7R2 uses pixel binning to get its huge 42 megapixel sensor down to full frame video. This could potentially mean the A9 has better quality 4K than the A7S2 with better low light than the A7R2. We will obviously have to wait for people to get their hands on them to know for sure though. Another piece of welcome good news is that they finally moved the record button from its awkward position around the side of the camera to where it should be on the back in a convenient position for your thumb to start and stop recording. One big disappointment though, is that Sony seem to have taken out the picture profiles menu from the menu system. A few people in New York have been able to get hands on with the new camera and they haven't been able to find it in that menu system. This means you won't be able to choose your gammas. No Cine 2, no Cine 4 and no S-Log. This would be a huge drawback for video if it's true, so we're really hoping that this is just something which Sony just left out of the early firmware or something. Hopefully it will be added soon. Because if it does come back, this could be the best Sony mirrorless camera for video yet. So what do you think of the A9? I'll hopefully get my hands on one next week in NAB, so let me know if there's any questions you'd like me to ask Sony in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.